الذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان مدرسة تنير مآثر الفكر هنا رمضان مفتاح ودرب جاد بالخير يعانقنا فيمنحنا جمالا مشرقا يسري جمالا مشرقا يسري تراويح ومغفرة تجود عليك بالأجر وصوم فيه مرحمة به الحسنات كالقطر به الحسنات كالقطر Take a pill with Kidir Ibrahim Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh We welcome you once more to yet another episode of the Ramadan Pills with Kidir Ibrahim Stay tuned to enjoy your pills So, Brother Khidir, can you please tell us how we can plan for our Ramadan? A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah Muhammad al-Amin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlu al-akhdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli How do we plan our Ramadan? Firstly, before the coming of Ramadan, it is proper for all Muslim faithfuls who wish to fast to prepare for Ramadan, plan for the coming of Ramadan by first of all leaving those things that we know that surely we will live during Ramadan, we should leave them even before Ramadan. We should pray at the, at the prescribed time. We should always read the Quran then those bad habits that are disliked in Islam or are not permitted we should stay away from them so coming to the Ramadan when in Ramadan how do we manage our time because some of us have busy schedule some do leave home around 5 6 a.m. coming back 6 7 p.m. some from 8 a.m. and return around 2 3 p.m. so some of us some of us do have tight schedule but with proper planning we can still gain more and much from Ramadan first is your intention which is very very important it is important that you all you have the pure intention of fasting you are not just fasting for you to be seen that you are fasting or you are not just fasting for any selfish reason you know that you are fasting for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you should have your intention and you have the intention that you fast the complete fasting before the next day you have the intention that you fast the next day it's very important again you should abstain from things that are makru, that are disliked Things they might not be haram totally, but you abstain from them and do sunnah, things that are sunnah. For example, squatting while drinking water. At least you do this, you get more reward. Squatting while drinking water. And all that sunnah of the Prophet. So you should try as much as possible to adhere to this sunnah. Then again, reciting the Quran. Now, some of us during this period, we do, you know, see it, we some even go as far as doing competitions in finishing the Quran. And then we end up making mistakes. No, you don't have to be in a haste or something. You can say after every salah, I read so so amount of page. It can be with your phone, if you are not with the copy of the Quran, it could be with your phone, the, the Quran on your phone, it could be a page after every salah could be two pages as far as you can do and with this you have good time management then again in this month of Ramadan we should indulge in a lot of dhikr a lot of ibadah supplications whether it be after the prayer or we can just make wudu go to the masjid or stay in our house and start doing dhikr and with the little time we have 
will would benefit more reward and again you don't need to sit to do dhikr or go to the masjid while doing your work your daily work or while you are working you can be doing dhikr so with this you have a proper time management and also giving da'wah during the month of Ramadan is another good period and good time to invite the non-Muslims to Islam. This is a good opportunity for us to invite the non-Muslim to Islam. And here we would gain the reward. Also, uh, doing some other sunnah acts like, like um, delaying the sahur and hastening the iftar as the Prophet has told us. And there are so many other things. So what's proper for you to do is to sit and draw a proper plan of how you can reschedule your activities depending on your daily movement or your daily work or your daily activities. So you reschedule and then you select the things in order of the way you can do them. If you are going to be reading Quran after every salah if it's possible. And then you shouldn't make your work, make you delay your salah. You should pray at the proper time, especially in this month of Ramadan. And again, we shouldn't do this with the intention of leaving them after the month of Ramadan. No. You should do them with the, with the intention of picking them up. If you are a smoker or, a, or, or, or an alcoholic, a drunkard, and you stop during the month of Ramadan, you should have the intention that even after the month of Ramadan, you won't continue with this act of smoking or drinking or any bad act of haram. And then you pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us and help us in this act. Thank you, Brother Khidir Ibrahim, for that brief enlightenment. Indeed, it was worth a pill to take. So without wasting time, we would pose the next question, inshallah, after the short break. وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان ما درسة تنير مآثر الفكر على الآيات والذكر وفي فيض من العطر هنا رمضان ما درسة تنير مآثر الفكر هنا رمضان مفتاح ودرب جاد بالخير يعانقنا فيمنحنا جمالا مشرقا يسري جمالا مشرقا يسري تراويح ومغفرة تجود عليك بالأجر وصوم فيه مرحمة به الحسنات كالقطر به الحسنات كالقطر Take a pill with Kidir Ibrahim